hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add row in drawio let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time on drawio i want you to click on the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go adding a row in drawio is a straightforward process but let me tell you that here in drawio they don't offer a native feature for adding rows, all right? So what I'm going to do right now is to add an element here to make our diagram engaging. I'm going to click on the import from and click on the device. And then from here, I'm going to add rows manually, all right? Now first off, go to the left-hand panel of your dashboard. Go to shapes. We're going to use a table. So type in table and press enter and you would have all these options you see that if you click on the more results you have an option here for the row table row this one right here see this right so we will add that later but for now we're going to be hovering here for example an item list Now, one option is you might want to copy this and by pressing Ctrl plus C and con pressing Ctrl plus V on your keyboard, making a duplicate copy, adding a manual row, right? You can do that again. For example, let's say row one. So that's one way. Another option is I want you to click on an empty shape, for example, a square, drag it here, make it a little bit bigger. I remember the uh, row right here earlier. Drag and drop it here. Now, you might want to change uh, the font style for this, maybe um, say um, a different font style. Around 20 or, or 30, I guess. And then click the uh, line color is going to be like red fly and then fill if you want right fill is going to be something like maybe yellow there you go so we have one here now we can copy that again so this is row one and then copy this going back to the second one rename it as row two and then Copy that again, creating a third row. Now, the idea is that when documenting processes or workflows, adding row allows you to include additional helps or stages, right? It helps in visualizing progression, dependencies, or sequences. Now, it's really good for brainstorming diagrams and helping uh, capturing more ideas. So here in Deep Labs channel, we usually uh, create uh, rows when we wanted to convey something, right? And from here, once you're happy with that, you might want to click on the uh, file button. You can sh export it as a different file formats, PNG, JPEG, PDF, and a lot more. And you can share it to your client or team members. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.